I'm willing to take full responsibility for the horrible events of the last 24 hours, but you must understand. Our interest in their world was purely for the betterment of mankind. Everything has clearly gotten out of hand now, yes. But it was worth the risk. I assure you. Hello again, I am Blunty, and I'm loading up another GPU shootout video for you today on, of course, the hot new release of the week, The New Doom. Everybody sing the Doom song now! Doom, doom, doomy, doom, doomy, doomy, doom. Invader Zim reference, nailed it. Oh, and don't worry, I'm confining my demo footage to the first level only, so there'll be no spoilers of note in here. Hooray! Demonic presence at unsafe levels. Lockdown in effect. So, on deck for you today, I've got the happy foursome of the NVIDIA GeForce family range thingy. The GeForce GTX 950 at the bottom end, the GTX 960, a very popular choice, the GTX 970, the recommended card for this game, and the big boy card. At least until the GTX 1080 comes out and somehow manages to make even this monster of a GPU feel a bit self-conscious, the mighty GTX 980 Ti. Or to some people, the GTX 980 Ti. I say Ti. So, I've got Doom humming along on my brand new gaming rig. Build log linked in my down below fun time area if you haven't seen that already. But, the important details are this. We're hooked up with 32GB of DDR4 RAM to make sure that we never bottleneck there. And I've got the Core i5-6600K CPU overclocked to 4.5GHz. And fun times for us, Doom has actually got a built-in little overlay thing you're seeing up there that keeps track of things like CPU load and GPU load, and what cards you've got, and the frame rate, and the, the frame times, and all that sort of stuff. Stuff I normally can't put up on screen, because I'm not that clever. But as you can see, the combo punch in my new rig gives me the ability to turn each and every dial, knob, and slider all the way up. And in 1080p, sadly I can't test 1440p or 4K at the moment, as I no longer have a monitor capable of such lovely pixel counts. <sighs> but what you're seeing with the 980Ti footage is beyond the standard ultra preset settings. Which basically means I've pushed the virtual texturing page file setting to what Bethesda call nightmare level. I've also pushed the anisotropic filtering to 16 times, which you really don't need to do at 1080p, but whatever. And the anti-aliasing bumped right up to the top level TSSAASTX. In fact, the only thing I turned off was motion blur because I just can't stand looking at it. It, it, it makes me feel sick. So yeah, the GTX 980 Ti monsters this game, and like I said, while I can't currently test it, numbers like this at 1080p mean you should easily be able to keep it maxed out at 1440p and stay healthily above that 60fps butter zone. Now, for the sake of a stuck comparison, I'm popping side by side with the other end of the spectrum now, the GTX 950 on low settings, to show you the visual difference between the highest possible settings and the standard low preset. Now. If you've got yourself a GTX 950, you don't need to stay at the low settings, by the way. You can actually push the settings up to the medium preset, which looks like this. And you're still going to get frame rates from the mid 40s to the high 50s. Now, in something like Rise of the Tomb Raider, I'd be very happy there. Third person action games, 45 FPS, no worries. But Doom relies a bit more on blistering fast action and super slick gameplay. So in a game like this, I think you'd be better off sacrificing some of the pretties to nail down a higher frame rate closer to that 60 target. Moving on up to the GTX 960, and on the medium settings, you're getting that 50 to 60 FPS window pretty reliably, spiking as high as the 70s in low demand moments. But 
if you're willing and able to cope with something closer to 45 FPS like we just talked about, you can in fact push this little bugger to the high setting preset and still get away with it. Again, my personal preference for this game in particular is to hit that 60 if at all possible, but there is extra sexy to be had if you can cope with this often frantic game at 45 FPS. Now then, if you've got yourself a GTX 970, you don't need compromises. It will handle the ultra preset and brush up against triple digit frame rate figures and diving down to as low as 80 frames per second or so in the demanding places. So, if you've got yourself a nice G-Sync monitor, you can lock down to 60 FPS with plenty of overhead and keep things all ultraed up. That's glorious. And you should expect nothing less from the recommended card for this game. And you know what? It's a surprisingly well optimized game, at first blush at least. Like I said, this is like day one and I haven't played all the way through. There may very well be a level or two further on that are much more demanding. We'll find out, I guess. But I honestly expected to see sort of console-like 30 FPS experiences on the baby brother GTX 950, for example. But yet again, that little bastard surprised me. I don't know why I'm still being surprised by just how well the lowest end of the GeForce 900 series does in AAA titles like this. I mean, I've done the testing myself. There are videos to show it. And I keep saying, wow, the GTX 950 did better than I thought it would. I know it always surpasses my expectations. I guess I just keep underestimating it because, oh, it's the baby. Meanwhile, though, good lord in a comedy sombrero, this game looks magnificent on the 980 Ti and runs like butter on the bright side of Mercury, too. Ooh. And just because people have been asking my little mini review so far, by the way, you know all that stuff about the multiplayer beta making people say, Hey, this is just like Call of Duty, but in Doom pants. This sucks. I don't want to play Call of Duty. I want to play Doom. Well... Good news, the single player portion, which is what Doom should be about anyway, does, in fact, in my opinion, balance the new with the old quite nicely, and it really does take me back to the panicked shooting and demon rocket dodging days of the original game. And I was there in the original days, in fact, Wolfenstein 3D and shortly thereafter Doom were some of the first 3D games I ever played, I'm very familiar with them. And I think I'm going to enjoy this new flavour very much indeed, and I haven't even got to the chainsaw bits yet, looking forward to that. <laughs> Thanks for watching, I hope you found this useful, informative or interesting. I am Blunty and I will catch you next time.